Her Excellency, Honorable President of India, Srimati Pratipa Devi Singh Patilji, my colleague in the Union Council of Ministers, Sri Ahmedji, Ministers of Education and Heads of Delegation from E9 and SAC countries, ADG UNESCO, Dr. Tang, Secretary MHRD, Srimati Anshu Vesh, other dignitaries seated before the dais, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I deem it a great privilege to be present here on the International Literacy Day in order to participate in the conference on Women's Literacy for Inclusive and Sustainable Growth, organized jointly by the National Literacy Mission Authority, Government of India, and UNESCO Paris. The design of the conference is in consonance with our commitment made in Abuja, where we had inter alia agreed to achieve greater impact on improving world literacy by leveraging E9 experience and expertise for the benefit of other countries. It is with this sentiment that the SAC countries have been invited to the conference for sharing with them our perception on the subject. I thank both the E9 and the SAC countries for their overwhelming response to our request for participating in the deliberations of this conference. As I stand here today on this podium, I feel overwhelmed with the serenity and solemnity of today's conference, which would undoubtedly provide a meaningful platform to E9 and SAC countries to evolve an insightful understanding of the global strategic frameworks with regard to the subject matter of our deliberations today. Education and literacy are the foundation and essence of all human development. Literacy confers a wide set of benefits on individuals, on families and communities. Social benefits arise on account of better knowledge and awareness that literacy gives. This helps in improving the implementation of social welfare programs, fighting social evils, and in building tolerant societies. Another set of benefit from literacy is economic, as it positively impacts on enhancing skills and earning capacities. A third set of benefit is political. A literate environment is fundamental for empowering citizens who understand their rights and duties and take informed decisions. But the most important are human benefits, as literacy enhances an individual's self-esteem and confidence levels. As Swami Vivekananda, India's leading patriot saint, observed, and I quote, real education is that by which character is formed, strength of mind is increased, the intellect is expanded, and by which one can stand on one, one's own feet, unquote. Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan, the eminent philosopher statesman, expressed similar sentiments when he said, and I quote, the purpose of education is not merely to send out technically skilled and professionally competent men, but also to develop in them the, qual the qualities of compassion and fellow fe feeling, the qualities which enable the individuals to treat one another in a truly democratic spirit." Unquote. But to achieve this level of excellence, literacy should not be confined merely to signing one's name or learning a few letters of alphabet. There is need for that literacy which does not view learners as passive recipients of information or enables them to mechanically decode the alphabet. Literacy learning must provide learners the space and time to come together to reflect upon and to understand their positions and through this process to, of reflection and articulation generate organizational energy and catalyze social action. India is a signatory to Balaam Framework for Action, which echoes India's thrust on providing quality adult education. It is therefore imperative to align India's national policy frameworks in conformity with its international commitments. We have gone through extensive cross-sectoral consultations to identify areas and issues which warrant reconsideration so as to become Balaam Framework compliant and to give a new direction to adult education in India that is at par with global benchmarks. Sakshar Bharat program was launched by the Prime Minister of India in 2009 in order to promote and strengthen adult education 
especially of women, in the prospective of lifelong education. It strives to provide learning opportunities, not only for basic literacy, but also for equivalency to formal educational system and for skills related to the life and livelihood concerns and needs of non-literates and ne neoliterates. It envisages women's literacy as an instrument of their emancipation and empowerment on which national development also depends. Sakshar Bharat is the principal agenda of the National Literacy Mission at present to recast the objectives and strategy of NLM or the National Literacy Mission in the perspective of emerging trends in the national lit literacy scenario across the country. At one end, Sakshar Bharat extends the scope of literacy to include learning beyond basic literacy and to equip all people with vocational skills. All the other Sakshar Bharat, at the other, Sakshar Bharat widens the coverage of literacy campaigns to take care of the largely bypassed sections of population like scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, minorities, and women. These two factors together effectively underline the empowerment implications of literacy, particularly for women. It is expected that from the present Sakshar Bharat program of National Literacy Mission uh, will emerge a population, particularly in the rural areas, to make the overall development process a participatory one, which would also be speedy and inclusive. Sakshar Bharat acknowledges the fact that adult education is part of the educational matrix and it needs the same professionalism that is found in the formal sector of education, as in schools, colleges, and technical institutions. This program visualizes a permanent structure for adult education at the Gram Panchayat level, the Lok Siksha Kendras, or the adult education centers. Though this type of center was envisaged in the earlier continuing education program of the National Literacy Mission, it was not designed as a permanent structure. The extent of permanent nature can be judged by the commitment of the government that it will provide resources for the building of centers and other infrastructures in course of time. Sakshar Bharat's earlier vision, the National Literacy Mission, has had a telling effect on the literacy profile of the country. As per census 2011, the decadal increase in literacy rate of the country has been 9.2% points, with the result that the literacy rate, which was 64.83% in 2001, has reached 74.03%. The decadal increase in the number of literates is of the order of 217.8 million and exceeds the increase in population of the corresponding age group by 320 by 31.2 million. Decadal growth rate of all learners is to the extent of 38.8%. The market improvement in female literacy is particularly impressive with the number of female literates increasing by 110.1 million during the last decade, thus reducing the gender gap from 21% to 16%. The decadal growth of female literacy works out to 49.1% as compared to 32% for, for male literacy. Literacy is an indispensable component of human resource development and literacy skills are fundamental to informed decision making process, personal empowerment and participation in local and global community. Literacy Readiness is also necessary to carry forward the national agenda and to contribute pr productively to a knowledge-based society. Literacy should, therefore, be an article of faith for all of us, and we must continue our endeavors with full vigor and commitment. Before I end, may I refer to the following inspiring observations made by Mrs. Sonia Gandhi in her address to the fourth UNESCO Regional Conference in support of global literacy held in New Delhi last year, and I quote, through the instrument of literacy and education for all, let us work together to ensure that societies remain enriched by the best traditions of their own heritage and yet remain open to the light of science and progressive thought and that our societies are freed from poverty, from prejudice, from oppression, discrimination, inequality, and violence, unquote. These words, I wish the conference all success. Thank you.